Welcome back to another episode of Exploring Whiskies. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. We're sampling whiskies from around the world. Today we're going to do another bottle in the lineup of the old, or excuse me, the old Forester lineup, and we're going to go with one of Kevin's favorites, ah. rye. Absolutely. Um, well, I mean, ever since we did the E.H. Taylor rye, it's been a little <laughs> bit more of a conversation. Like, <laughs> I, all right, I'll give it a shot. Um, so the old Forester rye is. I wonder what it's doing to not qualify as bottled in bond, but it kind of does a lot of the things that qualify for bottled in. So it is 100 proof. It is over four years. My guess is the single. Yeah, probably not a single season. Yep. that's my guess. Um, but outside of that, uh, it, it's it's kind of an interesting background with the old Forester, which I think we've covered this on some previous ep episodes. They were one of the few that got to do the medicinal license. Yep, they've, they've been distilling since pre-prohibition yep. all the way through all to today. Through. But with when it comes to rye though, yeah. they took a 40 year hiatus yeah, they from didn't, producing it. Didn't have it for a little while, but uh, they brought it back and we're gonna give it a shot today. Yep. So. Wonderful little screw cap. Don't worry about the cork breaking off. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Get a better seal too. Definitely get the baking notes, baking spices, but there's a lot of sweet there. They're sweet, but you kind of you can kind of smell the heat of the 100 proof on it. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, that's true. I might've been chalking that up to baking spices and it might just be <laughs> the fact that it's a like 100 proof. Yeah, brown sugar. Yeah, I get a little floral. Enough. I get a little bit of a floral note. I get a lot of the baking spices, but there's a lot of sweet notes um, that come with that. Brown sugar, definitely get that. Wow, that is, there's like two, at least two different layers there in the taste. There mm -hmm. is a really sweet. Very sweet in the beginning. Candy, some kind of a candy, uh, like sugary candy in the beginning of that. And then it, turns into all baking spices yep. and, and the oak and, but now I get, I get jelly beans. That sound, it sounds really <laughs> weird, but like kind of, you know, like that artificial chalky type, or not chalky, but gummy I get type a little, sugar. I get a little bit of orange on the, more on the aftertaste. I get a little of that on the nose now. Going back to the nose, there is a little bit of an orange yeah, a little zest. peel. It's nowhere near as sweet as the Taylor rye that we had. That was no. just sweet all the way through. Yeah, no, no. This this is a a little bit of a sweet hint with all of the classic rye notes of the baking spices, the teas, the. But man, that that first. What is that? Some kind of an artificial candy. Like it just it reminds me <laughs> of that. That's really funny. That second taste kind of left a little film okay mouth. well let's let's see what's how, how are you looking on the oil here there's a i mean it sits there there's no question about that but overall it's not like that over that, that crazy black licorice super spice yeah. that the reason why i don't like rise uh, is <laughs> that was my experience it doesn't have that it's, it's more of a there's baking spices in there and there's and it, it does go back to i think i said this on a previous episode this really feels like a fall drink like i can yeah. kind of get this now like it's not it's not something i'm going to want to do every day there's not it's not an everyday drinker for me but i could see on a like a cool fall evening having one of these would be Mm -hmm. Really nice. And at 100 proof, you could throw a cube in there and be, yeah, that, that'd be pretty okay. Did you get any hug? Not really. Mm -mm. That's weird. At 100 proof, I would have expected a little bit of a, a hug there, but no, not really. I'm not getting that drop through that I, I would have I get more expected. of the heat on the nose than I do on the yes. finish. The finish or even the initial taste. Yeah. I, I, there's not a lot of heat to this. It's really blended well. It's it's like a very smooth ride. I know in other old foresters, we tend to throw the uh, that banana. I do get a hint. 
I'm not getting the banana right, right now. <laughs> I don't get that. But I do, yeah, I think overall, I I, I like this. Mm -hmm. This really isn't, this isn't too shabby. And the price was 20, 25, five, 24 bucks. And MS, yeah, MSRP is like 23, something like that. Overall, that's not a bad, that's not a bad whiskey. 20, whatever, mid to low 20s. Hunter proof and a couple different layers of flavor in it. Not bad. I'm interested to find out because we've done the rye, we've done the hundred proof, we've done the 86, just kind of their standard different shape bottles than like the statesman and then they all have a little bit of a taller heft yeah. to them. So is there a reasoning behind I'm curious that? About that. Yeah, could it just be market like how it stands out on the shelf? Maybe. Maybe. Anybody knows, please leave a comment. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to know why. We have we have weird little questions that we come up with while we're looking at these things. But no, I mean, I think this is, uh, I mean, I think for some, be a good everyday drinker. I think uh, for, for some, like you said, it's uh, that's yeah. more that fall feel to it, which we're, we're getting there. Yeah, over the winter, yeah. this would be spectacular. You know, a little bit warmer day that you could sit outside mm -hmm. in the evening with a fire. This... This works. This definitely works for that. I know. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the, the old Forrester lineup. We're three bottles in. We've got, what, another five to five or six to go? Something along those yeah. lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something along those, those lines. Well, we're going to have, we're going to be reviewing everything in their lineup except for the, the president. presidential. Presidential is the only one we, we do not have access to at this point. So, yeah, it'll be kind of interesting to be able to go back. Mm -hmm. And this this is one you can't compare, but you know what's the the nineteen ten compared to the you know the hundred proof yep. or the eighty six or whatever it is. So there'll be a lot of uh, it'll be interesting. Overall, that's solid, a, I think it's a solid bottle. That's a solid bottle, especially a, for the price, the twenty three to twenty five dollar range. Yeah, I don't I don't think you can beat that if you're at all looking for a rye. I think that would hand, handle a mixed drink really well. Mm -hmm. And it's got enough sweet notes in it that, yeah, I think any any kind of a mixed Especially drink. Especially Manhattan, which is traditionally yeah. done with with the rye whiskey, rye bourbon. Very solid. So, but no. This is a good one. Like I said, I've, I've enjoyed this one. I'm looking forward to continuing our path down the Old Forester lineup. Yep. Uh, if you liked what, uh, what we said about the rye or any other episodes, we, we encourage you to hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button so you get... You can see all of our shows as they come out. The bell icon will actually notify you when we do put a, post up a new show and leave a comment. You know, what are your thoughts on Rise? Are, are, are you in my camp of, <laughs> all right, maybe not a fan, but you're trying to get into them. Are you just, is that your thing? You love Rise, especially in the fall time frame. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, we'd love to hear some feedback. But uh, we appreciate you joining this episode, and we look forward to uh, sampling some other whiskeys in future episodes with you. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.